Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fade in and out music that's a fade in and out music on Soundtrap. <laughs> so here's a detailed guide on how to fade in or fade out music on the Soundtrap web app. The first thing you like to do is to open your web browser and visit the Soundtrap web app. Once you do that, log into your account using your account credentials. And that's going to walk you right into this fantastic homepage. On the homepage, locate the project section, which is just in the middle. Open an existing project by clicking on the studio button right next to it. I'll click on Enter Studio 2, create a new project and um, project from scratch. So I'm using an existing audio for this tutorial. And once you click on it, the studio interface will load, which is currently loading. In the studio interface, identify the audio track you want to fade in or fade out. If you do not have an audio track yet, just go ahead and click on Add New Track on the middle of the screen or the left panel and import or record the audio. Now, at the top left of the track panel, which you have here, go ahead and look at the automation icon, which is a small line or wave symbol and click on it. So say this is the track you want to use, go ahead and click on that. Now, this activates the automation mode, allowing you to adjust volume and effects over time. After enabling automation mode, you will see a horizontal line, all right, running across the track, which is here, representing the volume level. So click on the line to create control points. These points allow you to adjust the volume at specific parts of the track. So to fade in music, click on the start of the audio track to add a control point. So drag this point to what drag this point downward you know to reduce the volume to zero okay so automation and volume so volume is there so drag it downward to reduce the volume on that specific part. You can also add another control point slightly further along the timeline and keep it at the normal volume level. Now this line will slope upwards creating a smooth fade in effect. But if this sound also to fade out music, just add a control point near the end of the track and keep it at the normal volume level. At the, uh, the normal volume level. She'll also add another control point at the very end of the track and drag it downwards to reduce the volume to zero. And this line will slope downward, creating a smooth fade out effect. Now, if this seemed a little complicated, uh, I think the next thing that you, let me see your CS delete. The next thing that you like to do is to click on edit right next to the point where, let's say this is the point, I'm moving this area to the beginning. And I click on edit, you can see fade in, fade out. So click on fade in. And once you click on fade in, then you should be able to, you see that has created a fade in effect. And if you just move this to the end, or to any point that you just want to apply the fade effect. So just like I'm moving. Okay, so click on edit and add a fade out. So that works. Now go ahead and click on play at the bottom of the studio to listen to the track. So ensure the fade in and fade out transitions sound smooth and are applied at the desired point. And once you're satisfied with the fade effect, click file and click save. In the top left corner to save your work and to download the track with the fade effect click export in the top right corner and choose your preferred file format and export the project so go about this tutorial from the top to the bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go hoping this tutorial marvelously helped your search